watching Let's Chat. All right, welcome back to Let's Chat. We have a very special young lady to introduce you to this morning and her mom, of course. I like to say we got some superheroes with us today. We'll tell you why here in just a moment. First, let's meet Miss Willow McLaren and Shannon Allman. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Willow. All right, we are celebrating you today because you have done a lot in the community. Um, I want to dive straight in and tell me about this organization you have, the Giving Berries. <laughs> I think she wants me to answer. <laughs> the Giving Berries is a business that Willow started at six years old. She started it with a desire in her heart to help someone who was very special and dear to her go on a mission trip. Mm -hmm. She succeeded, and from there she just kept growing. She has decided to help other organizations that are nonprofit with her nonprofit, mm -hmm. and she currently is working on a project to help give Christmas to kids at St. Jude. Wonderful. And here's one thing I want to talk about a project that you did. You raised funds. To be able to gift the first American Girl doll to wear hearing aids to other children in your summer camp with hearing aids. Uh, a lot of people, you can't see this at home, of course, because of great technology, uh, but Willow was hearing impaired and now has hearing aids as well. Willing, Willow was born deaf. Um, we were diagnosed at nine months, and she has always been proactive about her ears. Um, it's exciting the times that we live in for the technology that we have that can give her back what you know, she never had. Um, so she did earlier this year um, attend a camp for children with hearing loss and, and their families. And it's um, an organization that's dear and, and near to our hearts. And she wanted to give each child there, each female child there, a doll that was celebrated with hearing aids that was made by American Girl. But she couldn't leave the boys out. So, of course, <laughs> she had to have a certificate made from a lady who designs action figures mm -hmm. with the, the boy's exact custom ear, um, and they redeemed their certificates for their action figures. They got to choose and send in pictures of their ears, and so it was really neat to watch all this progress, and she did it by selling her chocolate-covered strawberries. That's awesome. So, yeah, it's pretty great. Well, tell me a little bit about why you are so, you know, involved in helping other people. Some people think that if you have a disability, you can't do most things, but, I, but you can. Absolutely, you can. It's an ability, right? It's a special ability. Special ability. We don't label ourselves as disabled. Mm -hmm. We're specially abled. Absolutely. Like I say, I always think you're superheroes because you have superpowers that we don't have, and I love that. All right, tell me a little bit about this um, award that you're up for, Willow. the Otacon Focus on People Award. Willow is a nationwide top three finalist in the Otacon Focus on People Awards. She was chosen for her um, want to make a difference in the community. Mm -hmm. um, the award is centered around people who are making a difference and changing the people around them, even though they're hearing loss. Um, so right now, the, the vote is in the process of a nationwide vote. Mm -hmm. We need Chattanooga and, and the surrounding areas to get behind Willow and go vote. I mean, I know so many people are, are wanting to vote and make a difference. This would make a difference in her life. The first place winner receives $1,000 to the charity of their choice. Mm -hmm. She chose Waiting to Hear, which is an East Tennessee organization that has a loaner bank for children with hearing loss who can't otherwise get hearing aids. Um, we actually have a co-founder of that in the advocacy category. But her prize would be a set of state-of-the-art hearing aids. Right which can make a world of difference to her. It can bring so much clarity to her sound to help her learn more phonics and, and be able to hear birds chirp or wind blow and things that are just, you know, so so much taken for granted. Mm -hmm. But it's just, it, that would be an amazing prize for her, a brand new set of, of state-of-the-art hearing yes. aids. And we talk about the technology. We're so thankful for the technology we have today in this industry, but it is ever-evolving. I mean, it's hard to keep up with the new technology because these are not cheap items, but they are much needed by individuals. You mentioned Waiting to Hear, um, an organization near and dear to my heart. I've been working with Shannon and the team uh, for forever, which mentioning, you know, Sherry Ball is the adult that's been nominated as well. Um, but how exciting. Willow, you're a national finalist. Are you excited about that? You are? Now, all we have to do and the way we can help is by voting. It's as simple as that. Yes. Um, talk us through the process to be able to vote and make Willows, you know, change our lives. So all you do, and you can do it from your cell phone, from a laptop, from a computer, is you go to Oticon, O-T-I-C-O-N dot com, 
forward slash FOP for Focus on People. Mm -hmm. And it'll, it'll walk you through. You can read the stories of the people who are nominated. We're asking you to choose Willow in the student category. She's the youngest in the category. Um, we're asking you to choose Sherry Ball in the advocate category because that, that means, you know, waiting to hear is going to win again. Mm -hmm. um, and then cast your vote. You can vote one time per email address. So if you know you have five email addresses, that's five votes for Willow and for Sherry. If you want to, to share it on Facebook, please share it on mm -hmm. Facebook. Share it with your friends, your family, your coworkers. Everybody just needs to get on there and vote, vote, vote. Voting ends November 16th, so right. we're less than, you know, a few days away from the voting to end. And we'll be able to find out in January if she's won. If she wins, we would love to come back and share with Chattanooga and, and show them what technology can do for a child with hearing loss, for an adult with hearing loss. Mm -hmm. if, if you know what it's like, it, you know, we kid her about taking her ears out when she doesn't want to hear us. <laughs> But to, to not have the ability to hear us was devastating Absolutely. at first. And, and to now be able to hear and grow and learn and succeed in school mm -hmm. and have friends that can understand her. And she understands them. Right. So it's just the vote matters so, so much to Willow and to us and to everybody in the Waiting to Hear group. It does. All right, we will be posting the direct links to be able to vote for Miss Willow and Miss Sherry on our Facebook page once this segment is posted online later today as well. Like she said, go vote. Vote with every email you have and share this out with all of your friends and family as well. Once it's on Facebook, it's super simple. Push the share button and post it to your page as well. And again, we are rooting for you, Miss Willow and Sherry as well. We're going to be waiting for you to tell us in January what we the call wait. is. We are, we are so excited about this. It, it, it's going to mean life-changing. Willow is so deserving of this. All right, the links are coming soon to Facebook. In the meantime, it's O-T-I-C-O-N dot com. We got to run. We'll be right back on Let's Chat.